Ambition's Revenge After Oda Nobunaga killed Imogawa Daimu Yoshimoto and fellow senior officers, he usurped the Imogawa army into his own. The long-standing rivalry between the Oda and the Matsudera came to an end with a pledge of feudal allegiance by the Matsudera. Further west in the Kai province, another rival named Takeda Shinjin, who I will cover in a future video, gets word of Oda Nobunaga's excellence in battle and proposes a marriage between Nobunaga's daughter and his son. The year is 1561. One year since the miracle of Okeizama, the Oda clan was on a power surge through central Japan. To the north in the Minu province, Sado Yasutatsu, who rebelled against his father Sado Dazen, and had his father, who really wasn't his father, killed in battle. He died oddly in 1561 CE, probably due to his leprosy disease. Saido Yasutatsu was then succeeded by his young son Sado Tatsuki. Oda Nobunaga's wife Nohim and Nobunaga felt it was time to get revenge and redemption for the late Sado Dazen whom Nobunaga failed to save during the Battle of Nagaragawa. Nobunaga moved his army north to Kamaki Castle and began moving into the Mino province. He had small skirmishes with scout companies, but when both armies were supposed to meet for the Battle of Marai, Nobunaga ended up convincing Sato's samurai retainers that their lives were not worth the protection of an inexperienced and naive boy. They were convinced and joined Nobunaga's side. This exponentially weakened the Saido clan, as the Oda kept gathering Jai samurai across Minu, but still no surrender by Tatsuki. Small battles between the main Saido force continued for six years, until finally in 1567, the siege at Saido clan's main castle called Inubayama was captured by Nobunaga. He spared the boy and sent him into exile, his location unknown. The Minu province belonged to Oda Nobunaga, and with this territorial gain, he also managed to change the name of the capital city to Gifu. Eventually, Gifu would adopt the saying, whomever controls Gifu controls Japan, later in Japanese history, because of its center location in the mainland of Japan. The demon king felt his power surmounting into something unbelievable, something no man had ever achieved before. He dreamed for a moment as though he were Kaposhi again, young, careless, and hopeful, instead of a battle-hardened demon he eventually evolved into. He envisioned bringing these providences to peace and uniting the clans into a single nation, to end having another child grow up in a war-torn state like where he found himself. The only way he would achieve this dream is if he kept being the cruel, cunning Oni that got him there in the first place. Nobunaga's ambitions for some kind of unification manifested into his psyche. Quote, rule the empire by force, end quote. And he woke up to create his new seal.